Hey there, it's Commander Davis, and today we're going to look at building a joystick map from scratch using the CH Control Manager. The first thing we need to do is to add our devices using the Add button. So I'm going to add a fighter stick, and a pro throttle, and if you have them, you could also add pro pedals. Since I don't use these, I'm going to delete the pro pedals and just concentrate on the fighter stick and the throttle. Next we want to look at uh, axes. The uh, X and Y axis on the fighter stick are fine, but the throttle wheel on the side needs to be changed to the R axis, so we can then go map the pro throttle to CM device 1 and use the throttle axis uh, there. We also want to map the mini stick on the pro throttle. Uh, again, that needs to be changed from CM device 2 to CM device 1, so it presents as one joystick to the game. And uh, I normally map these to the U and V axes, although you might notice here that I've managed to map them to the V and V axis. I will fix that a little bit later. If you want to, you can now play around with uh, the dead zone, the sensitivity, the gain and response settings uh, of the various axes. I usually find a dead zone for the mini stick is useful, uh, since it doesn't tend to centre very well. Um, other dead zones I tend to provide in-game. Um, I don't normally play with the gain and response settings or the sensitivity, however that's down to personal preference and if you want to, you can. In this map I'm turning off DirectX mode and setting button presses to fire off uh, key presses. This is because I want to use the map with voice attack and that works much better with key presses rather than joystick buttons. If you do want to use joystick buttons, simply leave DX mode uh, ticked, select CM device 1, regardless of whether it's the throttle or the stick, and then select the button you want. Uh, bear in mind you're limited to 32 buttons with the direct X. Anything else needs to be mapped to either a different device or a keyboard press. Now you'll note here that I'm using a combination of just entering the characters directly and recording the keyboard strokes. Um, this really depends on whether I'm using a, uh, a special key or whether I'm just using a box standard. Um, alphanumeric key. Uh, it saves me having to remember the keyboard codes and also means if you want to record a combination of keys um, that you can do so. Um, you can also record delays quite easily. So now we just move around the joystick buttons repeating the process with the keys that we want for each button. Also if you're wondering how I'm navigating between the various buttons so quickly it's just done by pressing the buttons on the actual stick and the UI will move to the correct pane for that particular button or axis if you're moving an axis. When you're done, clicking the download button will compile your map and attempt to make it ready for use. If you've made a mistake, you'll be notified here. For example, if you remember earlier, I said I'd map the V-axis to both of the axes on the uh, mini stick. I need to correct this problem before it'll let me download and use the map. A quick check with the Task Calibrate button shows me that my axes are all set up correctly on a single device. There are no buttons because everything is mapped to a key press. With the map sorted, the next step is to load up the game and to map our key presses to the various actions in there. And we'll do that in another episode. Cheers.